I ranked every Radiant Pokemon card. Radiant Pokemon in the TCG are cards which are limited to one per deck, and they depict the shiny versions of Pokemon like Blastoise, Venusaur, and Charizard. Radiant cards are limited to one per deck due to their supposedly high power levels, but some don't quite hit the mark. Going through alphabetically, I will rank them on a scale of S to F, with S being the best and F being the worst. At the end of the video, I'll toss them onto a tier list. Let's begin, shall we? Radiant Alakazam's best attribute is its Painful Spoons ability, which reads once during your turn, you may move up to two damage counters from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another of their Pokemon. Two damage counters may not seem like much, especially with the heightened HP stats of modern cards, but this ability was a core mechanic of Charlie Lockyer's 8th place Articuno and Teleon deck from Toronto Regionals in December 2022. Using Articuno's Wild Freeze attack to paralyze the opponent's Pokemon turn after turn, while Emergency Jelly heals your Articuno, Alakazam was used to spread damage to benched Pokemon while keeping the paralyzed Pokemon stranded in the active. Radiant Alakazam also has an attack, but you'll hardly ever use it. Radiant Alakazam gets a C from me. It's good enough to fit into a specific niche, but not much more than that. Next is Radiant Blastoise with the Pump Shot ability which allows you to discard a water energy from your hand to put two damage counters on one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. This actually has a similar mechanic to Alakazam since both of these cards can meet a condition to put two damage counters on one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. However, Radiant Blastoise is almost always outclassed by Radiant Greninja, which we'll cover later in the video. Radiant Blastoise isn't complete bulk, but I am giving it a rank of D, because it's really difficult to justify playing this card as your deck's only Radiant Pokemon when we have some really good Radiants to choose from. Charizard fanatics, hold on to your limited edition Charizard gaming chairs, because this card is insane. The ability Excited Heart states this Pokemon's attacks cost one colorless energy less for each prize card your opponent has taken, and Radiant Charizard's only attack Combustion Blast does 250 damage for 5 energy. Luckily, four of those energies it needs are colorless. So the attack costs one single fire energy if your opponent has already taken four prize cards, thanks to the Excited Heart ability. Radiant Charizard has been seen in all sorts of decks, from Inteleon Toolbox decks built around Charizard, to Lost Zone decks with a slew of single prize attackers, and of course the current best deck in the format, Lugia V-Star Archaeops, which typically features Radiant Charizard as one of the attackers. Radiant Charizard is S-tier, and it's not even close. Radiant Chargebug will release in the specialty set Crown Zenith this January. It has the ability Shocking Block which reads, whenever any player attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their Pokemon, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. I can confidently say that even if this ability was doubled to four damage counters or possibly tripled to six damage counters, it still wouldn't be worth the Radiant slot in your deck. Decks like Lugia V-Star and Arceus decks can get around attaching energies from hand, and a Path of the Peak will just shut off this ability anyway. Plus, it affects your own Pokemon V2, which is a huge downside. Please head to the comments section and leave an F for Chargebug, because that's the rank that it gets today. Next is Radiant Eevee. It has the Twinkle Gathering attack. Search your deck for a number of cards up to the number of different types of Pokemon you have in play and put them into your hand. Okay, okay, it sounds great to search your deck for a few cards of any kind, but this is your attack for the turn, and those cards could just get shuffled back into your deck by Marnie or Judge or something. Although, I do think there's a smidge of a chance that a control deck could possibly maybe someday, perhaps, use this Eevee to some effect, I am giving it an F. Eternatus may have the coolest effect out of all of the Radiant Pokemon. Upon playing Radiant Eternatus to your bench, its Climactic Gate ability lets you search your deck for two Pokemon VMAX and put them directly to your bench, and then your turn ends. Pokemon VMAX are the highest power level cards in the game, so there are at least a few that are worth ending your turn for. The popular choices to pair with Radiant Eternatus as of now are Duraludon VMAX and Flying Pikachu VMAX, but I'm sure players will experiment with other VMAXs as we go. Radiant Eternatus gets an A plus from me. It just isn't universally powerful enough for the S ranking. Radiant Gardevoir's Loving Veil ability reads, all of your Pokemon take 20 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon V. Pokemon V are pretty much everywhere, and if you're playing a deck with other tanky or healing elements, this 20 damage blanket reduction can go a long way. I could see this being argued down to a B tier, but I'm putting Gardevoir in A because I do think it's that good. If you play the Pokemon TCG and haven't seen this card yet, you must be living under a rock. 
specifically this rock back here. Radiant Greninja's Concealed Cards ability allows you to discard an energy and draw two cards. This ability on its own is fantastic and deserving of at least an A tier, since it draws cards and it activates cards like Melanie and Palkia V-Star Star Portal ability by putting energy into the discard. But Radiant Greninja also has a fantastic attack which deals 90 to 2 of your opponent's Pokemon, often being used to knock out two smaller Pokemon at once, like Sobbles, Comfies, and Bidoofs. Radiant Greninja is THE Radiant Pokemon, and it definitely gets the S tier rank. As long as Radiant Hawlucha is on your bench, your Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon VMAX. This would be a great damage buff if we were always playing against Pokemon VMAX, but that is just not the case. For the entirety of Radiant Hawlucha's time in standard format, the metagame has been fairly diverse with VMAX, V-Star, and regular Pokemon all being the focus of decks. Radiant Halucha has made it into some decks which specifically needed a damage boost against VMAX decks, but it's often dead space due to plenty of decks which don't use a single VMAX card. After much deliberation, I've given Radiant Halucha the ranking of B tier, because it is situationally good at doing what it's supposed to do. I'm putting the next three Radiants together as wholesale straight to the C tier. Radiant Heatran has seen niche play, but is typically outclassed by Radiant Charizard. Radiant Hisuian Sneasler has also seen niche play as a boost to the special condition Poison, and it could be argued into the B tier, but I don't think it deserves that ranking based on its very limited use with a very niche strategy. And Radiant Jirachi has seen play in a couple decks, but it isn't the star of the show in any competitive decks right now, and it could be played around pretty easily with Path to the Peak shutting down its ability and its attack relying on coin flips. One more doorbuster deal before you head out. Radiant Steelix, Serena, and Venusaur are all on clearance in the D tier. Radiant Steelix has a neat attack, destructive finish, but it's outclassed by Kyogre, which isn't even a Radiant Pokemon. Radiant Serena is also neat, but generally underpowered against the field. Venusaur's Sunny Bloom ability is really neat, but it's usually quite impractical to be drawing cards after you attack, especially since you will take prize cards prior to using this ability. And that's every Radiant Pokemon ranked. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon TCG content, and I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.